सो है गाइज वेलकम बैक टू रॉकेट ड्रीमर्स यूट्यूब चैनल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इन दिस वीडियो अबाउट द पी लोड्स ऑफ यू एस जीरो एट एंड द मेन काइंड ऑफ सैटेलाइट ऑफ एस एस एल वी डी थ्री यू एस जीरो एट मिशन सो फ्रेंड यू एस जीरो एट इज अ इसरोज लेटेस्ट अर्थ ऑब्जर्वेशन सैटेलाइट स्लेटेड फॉर लॉन्च बाय द स्मॉल सैटेलाइट लॉन्च वहीकल एस एल वी डी थ्री द प्राइमरी ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस मिशन और यू एस जीरो एट इंक्लूड डिजाइनिंग एंड डेवलपिंग अ माइक्रो सैटेलाइट creating payload instruments compatible with microsatellite bus which is also known as the microsat uh, and this particular us08 is based on this microsat bus well incorporating new technologies required for future operational satellite well this us08 satellite is based on microsat ims1 bus carries three payloads electro optical infrared payload eoir then we have global navigation satellite system reflectometry payload gnssr then uh, we have sic uv doisimeter the eoir payload is designed to capture images in the mid wave ir mir and long wave ir ir means infrared lwir bands both during day and night for applications such as satellite based surveillance disaster monitoring environmental monitoring free fire detection volcanic activities observation and industrial and power plant disaster monitoring the gnssr payload demonstrate the capability of using gnssr based remote sensing for applications such as ocean surface wind analysis soil moisture assessment cryosphere studies over the himalayan region flood detection and inland water body detection meanwhile the sic uv doisimeter monitors uv irradiance at the view point or the view port of the crew model in the gaganyaan mission and serves as a high dose alarm sensor for gamma radiation this spacecraft mission configured is set to operate in a circular low earth orbit leo at an altitude of 475 kilometers with an inclination of 37.4 degrees and a mission life of approximately 1 year the satellite has a mass approximately 175.5 kg and generates around uh, 420 watts of power it interfaces with sslv d3 launch vehicle eos08 marks a significant advancement in satellite mainframe systems such as integrated avionics system known as the communication baseband then we have storage positioning cbsp package which combines multiple functions into a single efficient unit this system is designed with the cold reductant systems using commercial of the shelf cots components and evaluation boards supporting up to 400 gb of data storage additionally the satellite includes a structural panel embedded with pcb an embedded battery a micro dga dual gimbal antenna and mpaa phased array antenna and a flexible solar panel each serving as key components for onboard technological technology demonstration as well as this satellite employs a miniaturized design in its antenna pointing mechanisms capable of achieving a rotation speed of 6 degrees per second and maintaining a point accuracy of plus minus 1 degree the miniaturized phased array antenna further enhances communication capabilities with the flexible solar panel incorporates a foldable solar panel substrate gfrp tube and cfrp honeycomb rigid end panel offering improved power generation and structural integrity a pyrolytic graphite sheet diffuser plate for its high thermal conductivity of 350 reduces mass and finds applications in various satellites functions furthermore The US08 mission adopts a new method of integrating housekeeping panels using a hinge based fixture significantly reducing the duration of the assembly integrating and testing AIT phase so well guys uh, this was uh, the detail or you can say a detail explanation of the payloads which are there on board US08 ISRO's latest earth observation satellite slated for launch of PSL uh, SSLV satellite launch vehicle or small satellite launch vehicle d3 mission well what do you think about this mission do comment below and uh, i have shared the mission conf configuration with you also the uh, you can say altitude then we have uh, heard about inclination and uh, approximately approximate weight of the satellite well what do you think so about this mission do comment below and uh, 
what are you expecting from isro this year by this end of this year do comment below to that well we just had uh, one launch i guess one to two launch and after six months again we having we are having one launch what do you expect from isro do comment below uh, let's end this video till then take care goodbye